Hello everyone and welcome back to World of Tanks with Captain Crazy Hat. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of the uh, gift tanks, the T7 Combat Car. Uh, this was originally a gift for players who had registered previous or prior to patch uh, 8.9 I believe. And since then, it was available during the 30-day login event and was distributed uh, then as a second-place prize, sort of a deal halfway through uh, the login event. So, what is this machine? Well... This machine is special in that it only sees tier 2 battles. But then again, that's kind of necessary because your main armament is a 50 caliber Browning machine gun. It's literally the legendary Modus. And you only get one ammo type for it. Armor piercing. That's it. But it does have a good deal of burst damage poten potential. Because you have 50 shells in the magazine. Which is a lot. That, basic, that basically is the... Uh, here he is, a loader in the tank opening up a box of 50 cal rounds and feeding it into the gun. So, that's pretty good. And, you know, because it has such a really large capac capacity and it, it fires around every... 0 0.11 of a second. It, it, every 11th of a second it fires around. It pays for that in its reload speed. 24 seconds reloading. That is on par with some of the later French the auto loaders and the auto loaders on tanks like the uh, American T fifty one T fifty four E one, but their auto loader takes well. See, there you go, thirty six seconds. That ta that takes that so long because you're loading big big a hundred and you're, 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 you're loading great big 105 millimeter rounds into the thing. This, however, uh, I don't really know why it takes so long for him to, your loader to load the gun. 24 seconds for complete loading. The average penetration is 27, which actually it used to be much lower. I think it, I think it used to be something like fourteen or something. But it was buffed at one point, and it did make this tank much better than it had previously been. However, the average damage that you're going to do for every bullet is eight. But you have fifty rounds. And that's a lot of burst damage potential. Now, not every single round is going to pen, especially if you're just spraying into a tank, because the dispersion starts to kick in and your aiming circle gets huge. 
Now, this thing is not a sniper. It does not pretend to be a sniper. This thing is best played as a support vehicle. Having another vehicle to go with or supporting another vehicle because you need someone to cover you while you go through your reload. But it's great at ambushing. But still... 8 damage per shot at average, 6, yeah, six to 10 for 50 rounds, that's not bad. That's, you know, 400 damage burst. Realistically though, one of the things that's always been a complaint from a lot of people is that you're going to give us a tank that has a machine gun. It really is a machine gun as its main armament. Why can't we use the rest of these machine guns? Okay, I know having a little guy standing up here and using this machine gun, that's, maybe that's a little bit much to ask for. It's external machine gun, fine. But... You know, if you let us use these 30 cals that we have all over and just, I don't know, give them one or two damage and have 50 round belts and whatever the case may be. That would make this, you know, a much more fun machine. As it stands though, you spend a lot of time going through your reload cycle. A lot of time going through your reload cycle. But with 400 burst damage, you really have to make some kind of sacrifice. But the sacrifice isn't just in the gun. Now you can do 56 and your traverse speed is 40 degrees per second. That's not bad. However, your tra traverse speed is 24. You would probably be better off just turning the entire vehicle rather than waiting for the turret to turn around. And it suffers in other areas, too. You know, it has no armor whatsoever. 12mm turret armor. That's not going to stop anything. If, if a fly lands on your arm, or if you run into a fly while you're driving, it'll probably put a dent in your armor. And 15 millimeters at most of hull armor. I'm pretty sure my wife's SUV has more armor than that. But you're only going up against tier twos. They're going to pen penetrate your armor, but you know most tier two vehicles have let's see 150 hit points, 150 hit points. Well, that's tier three. Sorry, 160 hit points. Uh, the most you're really going to end up seeing, you know, is maybe a uh, Panzer 2D, which has 260, but your burst of being able to do up to a potential of 400 damage really uh, overcomes that. And between the two of them... If you're able to land shots and you're able to penetrate, you'll be able to kill him much easier than he's going to be able to kill you because he can only fire off ten shots, then has to re have to has to spend three uh, four seconds reloading. So there are a lot of factors that apply there. So if you got this tank, you know, great. If not. There will probably be some kind of package. I know that this came in a package with all the other light tanks. So, at, uh, at one point. So, you know, it, it's going to be out there. So, let's see if it's worth picking up. and Maybe it's worth some, worth some laughs. Maybe it's okay at training your crew. 
I have my Walker Bulldog crew in here, and one crew member from uh, that was left over as my uh, Jaffe uh, crew members grew up. Actually, what is he doing in here? I do believe that they have been reversed. Such witchcraft. One moment, please. I'll fix that right up. There we go. All set. Excellent all-American team. And a nice break from all of the Germans that we've been uh, looking at. What can you fit to this thing? Well, small liner's cheap. Improved ventilation, also really cheap. This, this thing really isn't worth fitting all kinds of other fancy stuff to. I mean, okay, I have a toolbox laying around, and that doesn't cost money to uh, to take it off of something. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that on there just to have a complete lineup. Other than that, I mean, its view range isn't that great. It really shouldn't be sitting still, but, it's, you know, it's, it's really not worth spending 500000 on for coated optics. It's really not. I mean, it's competition in terms of Tier 2 and 3 American Light Tanks. It, it doesn't warrant it. So, enough of that. Let's get into battle and see what we can do. All right, here we are, and as you can see, there are quite a number of other T7 cars. Now, this is, uh, well, at least when it first came out, was for, referred to as the clown car, because I think it only had something like 11 millimeters of penetration, and it was just all around awful, and it is a combat car with wheels. Those are actually, if you take the tracks off, those are road wheels. So it literally is a car in every sense of the word, except it has a turret with a machine gun in it. This really is an armored car. So we don't have a full team set up. We just have all of the uh, E7 clown car drivers that decided they wanted to take their clown cars for a drive. It is quick. Oh dear. And two unfortunate tier one players. I really hope that this isn't their first game. That would really be tragic. Yep, here is that slow turret traverse. It really is pretty much faster. Well, literally, it is faster. If you turn the entire tank, then you wait. So, oh, they scared him so much he jumped off the hill. But you can't get away. Sorry. You've seen too much. We cannot let you live. Alright. What have we got here? Can I sneak up into these bushes? Oh, I can. And I sneaky, we see. And how appropriate. Another clown car. But that's what happens. I wasn't paying enough attention, and I got machine gunned by by a combat car. That's just sort of how these things work. But at the same time, I machined another com machine gun another combat car. So let's take a look at another one of these guys in action. I assume he's backing up because he's reloading. That's usually how how it goes. Unfortunately, back off when you got to reload and. Hope that your support, which is a pretty low health D1E6, can keep them hell off long enough for you to reload. Oh, this thing is a terrible sniper, but he's landing some hits. And I think that was his magazine. Or up another box of ammo. Really needs elevator music. Oh, 
<sighs> Still reloading. Probably. Oh, he smell. He smells blood in the water. He thinks he can be a sniper. Be the machine gun sniper. Or not. There we go. Get him. For do it. For, do it for Uncle Sam. Come on. Get a kill for Uncle Sam. All right. He's actually able to put some. All right. Nice. They would have put some good shots down range, which is impressive because at that range, your shots tend to go everywhere. So, team score, combat cars, we stick together. So, we're in the middle here, and here, there, here, there are guys. But, of course, problem with you know only being in tier 2 games that you have to deal with the 18 tank destroyers they are pretty much just as dangerous to your health if not more dangerous to your health than another combat car or something similar because they can use their howitzer and they can kill you in one shot so let's try out one more battle to see if I can inflict some more chaos and who shows up to this very odd party in the, in the late night before the server restarts with specialty tier 2 only vehicles sure let's have a party Alright, here we are at the uh, Ghoul Kids par Late Night Party. Back with the action back tier 2. And... Well, that was close. Let's get this show on the road. Stay home and defend. I don't want to go see the world. Alright. And, oh dear, there is one unfortunate tier 1 tank. I got himself into this mess. Oh dear, oh dearie me. They have artillery. Hey now. Well, that's not very fair. Right, a combat car. Can I shoot at it? I can shoot at it, but I wouldn't be able to. Oh, it's almost out of me. Run away. He's too light. He is also machine gun armed. Then again, everybody's coming up here and shooting at me, so... Wow, I actually managed to bounce a shot and I'm on one health. Oh, dear. Yeah, it's time to get into a bush right about here and just hide. <laughs> Alright. No guts, no glory. No guts, no glory. Oh god, this is gonna hurt. Nope, he's not looking. He's not looking. Got him! On one health. Yeah. As Duke Nukem would say. Hail to the king, baby. Oh, yeah. Those look like they're breaking through our uh, other flank. Oh, force a reload. Begs a question. Why doesn't the loader just open up another box of shells and get ready for the poor guy? Alright. Here's the combat car. Oh, yes, and he stopped. Perfect. Got him. Two kills on one health. 
Two kills, one health. I'm sure that artillery wants a piece of me. You can feel it in me bones. The tool light was just was last spotted over there. Cruiser. All right, he's gone. That guy's taking cover and concealment. Force a reload. No reason to go in without enough. Uh, First damage available to me. Because if I actually get into a situation, I, I really am going to need all the power I can get. Maybe done some covering fire for myself. Oh wow, I bounced some shells. That, that is amazing. Bottom for my allies. Oh, and he got me. Can my allies do anything? Oh, because uh, only had one ally left. Still, not bad. Three kills on one health. <laughs> Excellent. Tracks made out of uh, hardened Stalinwood on a German tank because logic. Not sure what this guy is particularly doing. I think he's new here, though, given by... Uh, just because of the 2015's name, but it's cool. Everybody's got to start somewhere. Oh, well. Well, that was a loss, but that's okay. I came in top on damage done. Killed three enemy tanks while on one health. Not a bad, not a bad game, <laughs> considering I was on one health for most of it. <laughs> so yeah, shots fired 197. It You fire an absurd amount of ammunition out of the thing. But it does have great burst damage. If you catch a tank off guard, like I did to that um, tank when I came around the hill, he was focused on someone else. And I ambushed him. And there was no way he was going to be able to turn around in time to save himself. Because then he's stuck between two people and he's just getting shredded by my machine gun so yes um this this tank used to be a lot worse just due to it had so little penetration i believe i'm not sure if the british tank has the same extremely low penetration 27 and 37. No, okay, they raised them both at the same time, even though that's a 15 millimeter gun on a British tank, which should really probably have more penetration than a 50 cal, which equates to 
12.7 millimeters, but hey, what do I know? World of Tanks logic. So, if you saw this in an event or you saw this in a special for a couple bucks, should you get it? Well, I'd say, yeah, this thing is actually a lot of fun. You know, it's, you're never going to be some huge rock star. And, uh, you know, I made a thou just over 1,400 uh, research, almost 1,500 for your research points. My crew got some experience, and overall, it's it's fun. It's It's not a tank that you take seriously. It's one of those things that I like to go to when... I'm playing higher tier tanks, and they're frustrating me, and I'm just getting angry with the game. I love to come down to this sort of vehicle and just flick the switch on my brain, turn off my brain, and just have fun with it. So, yes, I would definitely recommend um, getting this if it's in a pack or alone. This is a fun tank. Now, I'm not saying that it is a good tank. There's a difference between being a good tank and being a fun tank. This is a fun tank. It has atrocious armor, atrocious reload, and by, by all standards in the game, that it has pretty much an, an atrocious gun. So... There it is, the T7 combat car. It is fun, like the uh, Panzer 2D, but this can never see Tier 3, which the Panzer 2D is expected to fight those kind of battles, and you only have one type of ammunition choice. Because it's a premium and the costs are so low associated with buying the gun, it's almost free ammunition. I don't. What, what was my ammo cost? Um, uh, 197 ammunition resupply. It literally costs one silver per bullet, and repairs 362. You'll never lose money in it. And it's just all around f just a bunch of fun. And, you know, on the side, you can use it to train your uh, your your light tank crews. You won't get a ton of experience doing it, but if you're getting frustrated in high-tier battles and you want to dictate... and you want to say... No, this is my game. I'm fighting it this way on my terms and in my tier. This is a good way to go. Especially if you're tired of getting put at the bottom tier of some high tier battle in a stock tank and getting blown up. So, I give this one a pass. You know, check one out if you see one. But remember, don't take it seriously. It's not a good tank. It's just a fun tank. Anyway, I've been Captain Crazy Hat as always. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Favorite, subscribe, all those good things. And if you'd like to continue to support the show, check me out on Patreon. Alright, and as always, until next time, I will see you later. Bye-bye.